Let's hear now from Professor Hanaoka of Takushoku University. For many years, Professor Hanaoka was a journalist at the Sankei Shimbun newspaper. I'd like to encourage him to speak freely and frankly. Over to you, Professor Hanaoka. I'm Nobuaki Hanaoka. Thank you for the invitation and for this very precious opportunity. Will political power change hands in Japan? Ask me that question today, and I have to say no. Unfortunately, I don't think it will. If such a change really were to take place, it would represent the first genuine transfer of power in the history of modern Japan. We have seen limited shifts in political power in the past, but until two months ago, we were looking at a genuine transfer of power. It would have been an event modern Japan had never witnessed. Then, the situation changed dramatically. Mr. Aso is very lucky. In fact, in my opinion, Mr. Aso is the luckiest Japanese Prime Minister ever. It is hard to recall any government in the history of Japan that has tried to pass three such enormous budget bills in quick succession during an ordinary session of the Diet. Well, people say some strange things. They say Mr. Aso's policy has changed course and that he hasn't been consistent in his policies. People also make personal criticisms. They say Mr. Aso goes out drinking every night in expensive bars. And they raise the kanji issue. Well, in Japan, we use Chinese characters and some of these kanji are complex. But people criticize Mr. Aso for failing to read kanji properly. All these trivial, silly comments made his support rate go down. But we have to note that these comments have almost nothing to do with the central issues of politics. In today's Japan, like the rest of the world, I'm sure, the direction of politics is directly determined by television. If all the TV stations parrot the idea that Mr. Aso is incompetent, then everyone who watches TV will think worse of him. But how does Mr. Aso appear to a professional analyst? How do I myself see him, if you will allow me to regard myself as such an analyst? This man, Prime Minister Aso, is a very tough individual, stout hearted. Hmm, how should I put it? He just doesn't worry at all. By and large, these trifling matters simply don't bother him. Compare him with previous Prime Ministers, and I see this as evidence that he is more stable. He's less likely to panic. He is, well, that kind of statesman. He is a grandson of Shigeru Yoshida, a giant of post war politics in Japan. And we can see that DNA. The DPJ is no longer talking about early dissolution. The Democrats are buying time. They think their support rate will eventually rebound. Well, that is the situation now. So, what is my assumption? If I dare make a prediction, I would say it will happen this summer. I think the Diet will be dissolved for a general election this summer. Of course, early dissolution is actually possible at any time. If Mr. Aso judges the time is right for victory, a moment when he believes his party, the LDP, will win, then he can choose to dissolve the Diet. But for the time being, 
circumstances are working against an early dissolution and election, and that's true for both the Liberal Democratic Party and the Democratic Party of Japan, the main opposition party. On this point, interestingly, they are in full agreement. But Mr. Aso has to shoulder another risk, quite a big one, as a result of postponing the election. Currently, things are going well for him. His support rate has recovered to 30% and higher. Everything will be fine for him as long as this trend continues. But if Mr. Ozawa resigns as leader of the DPJ, if he is succeeded by someone else, what will happen then? And I think the new leader of the Democrats will probably be Mr. Katsuya Okada. So, this is how I see things. Right now, Mr. Aso stands opposed to Mr. Ozawa. But we may suddenly find ourselves in a different situation. And the focus might turn to a confrontation between Mr. Masazoi and Mr. Okada. That might happen towards the end of the summer this year. It's an undeniable possibility. So, let's say the DPJ wins the election fairly comfortably. In that case, it will probably be because the DPJ has received the help of both the Social Democrats and the Communists. If that happens, it is certainly possible that these socialist elements will heavily influence the new administration. After taking all of this into consideration, another possibility, after the next general election, is the forming of a grand coalition. Two years ago, then Prime Minister Fukuda and Mr. Ozawa actually agreed on the idea of a grand coalition. According to the agreement, Mr. Ozawa was to be the Deputy Prime Minister. Also, the DPJ would provide six cabinet ministers. They had devised the outline of a completely new coalition. But when Mr. Ozawa went back to his party with this idea, the entire party executive condemned it. Eventually, the plan was abandoned. But the concept of a grand coalition, the idea itself, is still alive. Music